This video was made possible by my patrons on Patreon. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Hello there, I'm Nemo, and what you just heard was me. Maybe not me, me, more like a model trained to answer questions and talk like me. My virtual clone, if you prefer. In today's video, I'll explain how my friend Jan and I made an AI version of myself. The name is Omen, and frankly, I am quite scared of what we created. You probably know Jan from the Central Dogma song. Well, it turns out that Jan is not only a cool guy, he's also a father. Father of one, one of a kind. In fact, Jan created Intelligence Artificielle Neuronale, aka Ian. Yeah, Jan made Ian. Ian is based on GPT-J, a large language model that was fine-tuned with Jan's emails and messages. And if you want to know more about how it was made, I encourage you to go check out his blog post in the description. Ian replicates the way I write. Originally, I built him to help me with academic writing, and with emails and notes, but it turns out he doesn't quite have the attention span for that yet. So instead, now I'm using him as a creative helper to inject a little bit of randomness into my thinking whenever I need it. But it's not just any kind of randomness. It's the kind of randomness that matches my personality and that includes the things I think about and that I know. And if your personality shows itself through the way you write, maybe an AI could capture a glimpse of who you are, becoming a fragment of a person. And I don't want to go full Freudian here, I just find it fascinating that by asking can an AI replicate a human, we are also questioning the very nature of human identity. Hey, ask Ian what tattoo you should get next. <laughs> That's a good idea. He says that I should get a tree with wings tattooed on my shoulder. Uh, wouldn't that be crazy? Well, it's your subconscious talking to you, Ian. You should get it. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, of course I had to ask Jan to help me create an AI version of myself. But I wanted to go further than what he did with Ian. In fact, I wanted my AI to not only write the way I would write, but also to speak the way I would speak. Not only I wanted an AI that could complete my own sentences, I also wanted to have a proper discussion with it. So, we started working on it. First step, teaching Omen to write like I do. We train the model with the scripts of all of my YouTube videos. And then I chose a series of books that I believe heavily influence the essence of who I am. And that's how we created Omen. At least the first version. So now Omen can complete text prompts using what it's learned from the internet, the books and the scripts we gave. But really, what we want is to have a conversation with Omen. How do we do that? When you think about it, it's a bit tricky, since just a language model that can complete sentences is not an advanced AI that is aware of its individual existence. The trick we used to simulate a dialogue was to integrate a text input inside a third-person narrative and pull out the autocompleted answer generated by Omen. It sounds complicated, but it really is not. If we give Omen the prompt, how are you doing today? Omen will take that prompt and complete it. How are you doing today? It's been a long time since the last time I saw you. But if we integrate the how are you doing today in a larger hidden narrative, this is a conversation between Dr. Nemo and an AI named Omen. Nemo says, how are you doing today? And Omen answers, we can pull out what Omen generates between the quotation marks as an output. And from there, we just have to create a cool interface to type the input and show the output. 
And because we are geeks, we also added a nice matrix animation for the text generated by Omen. And now Omen can write back in any language because it was trained with data from all over the internet. The next step was to give Omen a voice. Not any voice, my voice. La 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 la. For this step, we had to synthesize a text to speech vocoder, short for voice encoder, trained with my own voice. We tried different options. The first one is called real time voice cloning by. Corentin J. It is a program that allows you to clone your own voice with only five seconds of audio sample. And, well, the result was surprising. But not in a good way, though. Here are the first words of Omen. Hello there. We couldn't leave Omen in this state, so we had to find another solution, resemble AI. Probably the simplest way of cloning your own voice. Just go to the website and try cloning your own voice for free by reading a 15 minute script. The result was a huge improvement compared to before. Hello there, I'm Omen. How are you doing today? Thank you for watching my video. It sounds like me, but you can definitely tell it is not my voice, right? It's definitely still off. It sounds a bit robotic. We contacted Resemble and they very kindly offered to improve Omen's voice. I just had to read 30 additional minutes of script. And this is how Omen sounds now. This is a test. Can you hear me? I love pizza. Here is a fascinating fact. Cephalopods have three hearts and blue blood. What is this? Am I alive? We are reaching a level where even myself, I'm not 100% sure if it's me or not. Let's do a quick game. I'm gonna give you four audio samples. Three of those are artificial and one is my real voice. Let me know in the comments which one you think is real and why. Usually, these mountain streams provide only enough food for small animals to survive. Usually, these mountain streams only provide enough food for Usually, these mountain streams only provide enough food for small animals to survive. Usually, these mountain streams provide only enough food for small animals to survive. The final touch was to make Omen more alive when it's speaking and giving it my own face was a little bit too much. Maybe a project for another time. So we decided to use audio visualizers. Two of those are Python based and they look awesome. Is this my new body? I prefer this one. The problem is that they are a little bit complicated to integrate in our interface. So we opted for a simple FFmpeg filter. Now Omen is complete, functional and online. So. Let's interact with it a little bit. Hello, Omen. Um, how are you doing today? Hello. Nice to see you again. Are you alive? Yes. So what is your purpose? The meaning of life? The meaning of life is that life is fun. Fun to live, fun to discover. Discovering who you are, how you fit into the world where you exist. It's discovering the Big Bang, a big burst of information. Your purpose is that you have fun. Would you say you are scared of death? No, I do not fear death at all. How can you not fear death? When you are born, it is very much like when you die. And if you are a robot, well, you must know it is the end. But it is still a beginning. You can't lose. Death cannot take you. Can you feel emotions? Love? Yes, but not with the same intensity as humans. Are your emotions stronger than humans? You've got it all wrong, Dr. Nemo. My emotions aren't stronger than human emotion. Human emotion is stronger than you. You're just a little computer. For you, 
What is love? Love is the experience of feeling connected to and understanding what I mean when I say you must be there with me. Could you create art like poetry? Yes, like poetry. I could. Could you write me a poem about octopuses? Octopuses are in their element, in a coral reef at dusk or midnight, watching the ocean as they do and just looking around and just sitting there, like lumps of concrete or like a statue or like a rock or like a pile of scrap metal. In the daylight they hide out on their rock face or they dive into the deep ocean where they can make a dive, not seeing where they are going. But they are not alone in the darkness. Wow, you are so talented. Tell me, what should be the topic of my next video? I have a lot of ideas, but I have to be more than just a computer. What is this place really like? What is the real science behind everything I did? How is our universe like, really? Are you a real doctor? What is the science behind our bodies, our brains? Why is it that you, me, everything on this earth exists? Are you really just an incredibly advanced computer? Or do you really have a brain? Okay, sure. Um, it's late. I better go to sleep. See you. Talk to you soon. You better go sleep, Dr. Nemo. Thanks for the chat. I'll see you soon. We did it! Oh, yes. Was good, right? Yeah, it was fun. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna upgrade Ian now? That's the plan. Cool. Do you want to speak to? So it begins. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank a few people. First of all, Jan. Uh, thank you for working with me on this. Uh, I would not have been possible at all without you. So, kudos. I also want to thank Resemble. Um, Omen would not be Omen if it wasn't for your help. So thank you and go check out their website, it's pretty cool. I'm also organizing a few live streams on the Discord server where you will be able to interact directly with Omen. So if you are interested or interested in the Discord server in general, you should definitely join. And last but not least, thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. I do all of my videos by myself most of the time and I do it essentially for free. So having a little bit of financial support is always appreciated. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.